Aloha friends and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to get ready baby Evelyn for a shopping trip and kind of show you how to make your reborn baby look realistic in the car seat while you're out and about shopping or doing your errands. If taking your reborn baby with you, something that you really like to do. So let me go ahead and start changing baby Evelyn while I continue talking with you. As you notice, baby Evelyn is a sleeping baby. And honestly, sleeping babies are the easiest ones to make look very realistic in a car seat. Because most tiny babies like this would be asleep. And when your baby's asleep, they don't usually move. So that is also going to help you. So tip number one, choose a sleeping baby. Of course, you can make your awake baby uh, looking very realistic too. Now, another tip is to dress your baby in a size bigger clothing. For example, baby Evelyn here is a preemie. She is wearing a preemie size clothing, but I'm going to dress her up in a newborn size clothing. And the reason is because when you have a real baby, you usually don't dress them with like tight outfits because when your outfits are tight on the doll, or I mean on the actual baby, you realize your baby's growing out of it. So you kind of want a little bit of slack in their clothing. And of course you want to um, dress your baby in realistic baby clothing. So that would be the actual baby clothing you buy in the store, not so much like doll clothes. So let's take a look how this looks on baby Evelyn. See what I mean? There's a nice little slack, the sleeves are a little long, but overall it doesn't look too huge on her. Like she looks just comfortable. She looks like a real baby that's very comfortable. So for today's outfit, I'm going to dress her in a onesie, long sleeve onesie and these pink pants. I will also have to find some socks for her. In short, you want to cover as much of your doll as possible like her limbs and everything, like her feet, definitely cover her feet. Her hands might be okay, but we'll definitely need some socks. Because Evelyn is so tiny, I can only put these tiny little um, socks on that are from Kinby dolls. So it looks like she's wearing some nice socks. There we go. Now you could just leave it like this, but I'm going to put a hoodie sweater on her. Let's pretend it's real cold out. Of course, for most of you, you don't have to pretend. I know it's winter time, but here in Hawaii, winter is pretty warm. It's more like a fall or spring weather, but we'll just pretend. There we go. And again, this is a newborn size. Now she looks real cute. I might not zip it though. Okay, so the next tip is you want to use a real car seat because if you are going to put her in a dull car seat, it's just not going to look as realistic and Therefore, it will draw attention. So let's go ahead and put her in a real car seat. Okay, so I have this literally the cheapest car seat I could find on Amazon a couple years ago. This is even flow. It's very basic. It's not the prettiest car seat, but it works. You also might want to have a little infant insert that goes in here. I literally got this one at thrift store. I see them very often there. And then put your baby in. Okay, and now the fun part. You want to position your baby in a way that will look the most realistic. Okay, so if you look at the baby right now, does she look realistic? No, she doesn't. She looks very stiff and just looks like a doll. So you want to position baby's head as if the baby is sleeping and usually they have their head on one side. Something like that. Kind of have their cheek snuggling with the um, insert. Okay, but now her hands are kind of up in the air. Babies, when they're sleeping, they're quite relaxed. So, well, first of all, it looks like we have to strap the baby in. Okay, I'm going to tighten these in just a minute. Now let's see, what do we do with these hands? Maybe one of the hands can go up like this. And like I said, you want to cover most of your baby, so you don't want a lot of her being exposed. And let's see, maybe this one is kind of holding on to the strap here. Baby Evelyn is a full vinyl doll. 
and so she is naturally very stiff so it's very hard to pose her but if you have a doll that has soft body usually her limbs just flop more naturally does she kind of look realistic to you i think so so let's review so far you want a sleeping baby number one number two you want to dress her in size up clothing number three you want a real car seat and number four positioning plays a big role and number five and the final tip is accessories which means your passy your blanket all different things that usually mothers have with them in the car seat with their babies so if you have never had a baby and you don't really know what a real baby situation <laughs> looks like in the car seat maybe observe some new mothers who have new little babies in their car seats and see what it looks like and just try to copy it now since baby Evelyn does not have a magnet unfortunately behind her lip um, I have always struggled with pacifiers because I really want her to have a pacifier but she doesn't take one so recently I found that I could just use a little bit of sticky tack or I don't really know exactly what you call it and kind of stick it to her it doesn't stain and it doesn't rub off her paint either maybe something like that or so you can put a pacifier on or if your pacifier doesn't work or it's too bulky like mine you could kind of put it just next to her lips because a lot of times babies fall asleep and spit out their pacifier but if you can get the baby to have the pacifier in that would be the best and of course if you have a pacifier that is actually fallen out of her mouth you want pacifier that doesn't have a magnet it has an actual nipple for example this one's a little bit big not too big so you could just kind of put it next to her now this hand i don't really like it but it will have to do sometimes if you can't make your baby doll look realistic like her hands are just stiff like this the best tip for that is a blanket so you could just kind of cover her up a bit a lot of times mothers would just tuck the blanket in here so it doesn't drag maybe a pacifier is just kind of slipped from her right here and there you have it then you just close the canopy for even more realism and put a handle on doesn't baby Evelyn look so cute and peaceful in there she really does look so real if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up share this video with your friends subscribe if you're new and I will see you next time bye